All right, what's up, people? So, I'm planning on doing some uh, gameplays of the jam that I recently joined. It's the GJL Game Parade Spring 2021 Game Jam. And uh, yeah, so there's, um, I think, we 73 submissions. So, I'm going to generate a number from 173. One starting here, 73 going here, down here going across. So, that way, you know, it's always going to be random can nitpick and choose which one depending on like the screenshots or whatever so it seems pretty fair let's uh go ahead and start 37 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there's 10 going across so that means that 30 here 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 boom let's let's do this let's go ahead and play this let's see do they have a download because if they have download it's probably better to download I know this from experience because my game is like that as well, so. Turn off these things. Terrace is a good boy. Uh, should I even read these? The only way to get back home is collect the orbs, protect them from danger. The orbs aren't easy to get to, though, and as a younger dragon, all his powers aren't yet developed. He will need the help of his friends. That he made on his journey, Skylar and Pauline, to use their abilities to help him find his way. Collect the orbs and keep Terrence, Terrence, to keep Terrence and his friends safe to get him home. How to play? Collect the orbs and all four levels to help Terrence get home. Different levels require the different abilities. Help the dragons reach the orbs. Dragons can't swim, so when there's water, you'll need to find another way to get to the orb. Dragons can't swim. Come on, dragons can swim, man. <laughs> Not in this game, though. So you know, respect. Respect it. The following dragon's friends have dragon friends have these abilities. Pauline's the red one has fire. Yep, Skylar's purple flying. Terrence, he's a blue and has speed. You know, how come that none of them swim? I know why. Cause the developing uh, swimming, swimming, um, what is it? Controls are are difficult. I think I, th I think that's the reason why. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I would do it. Cause yeah, going in, in the water requires like different animations and such. So. I can see that coming from a developing standpoint. Point and click to navigate the dragon. Press F to create the flame. You scroll wheel. Press one, two, three. Change the dragon. You control. Nice. Right off the bat, you can switch. Okay, so this is uh, switching different dragons for different uh, objects, objectives. So, all right. Cool, cool. How many people made this? One, two, three. Maybe. I don't know how many people made it. The blue and the purple is kind of similar. There's one thing that uh, stands out to me. I guess we just keep. Let me see. Can I rotate the camera at all? Nope. I can't rotate the camera. Let's see. I wish there was a way where I could know which dragon I'm sele I, I've selected. So that would that would be good. As of now, I just gotta memorize that one is this guy, two is purple, and three is the blue guy. I'm guessing these will hurt me, but. Can I go over there? Can I go over there? Oh, they got us. Can't swim. Do I just bring them all with me? What's going on? How do I get over there? Can this guy fly over? Can you fly over? Yeah, buddy. I'm assuming you fly over here and then this guy has to activate something in order for the red guy to come across. That, 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 that only makes sense, right? Because the other guys can't come over here. Can I interact with this one? What the? What happened? What the? <laughs> what the? Where'd he go? No idea where the orbs are. I'm, I guess I just stand in one spot until it spawns into me. Yep, there it is. Now we need to get the blue orb. This. I really wish you could rotate the camera. Like it, it's, it's really hard to see. I think this this game might be a little better, like either um, top downish, like an RTS. 
or uh, maybe a third person view if you want to see the dragon and then just switch and have like uh, a camera view per dragon or, or switch the position of the camera per dragon like have a point behind the dragon but as of now I have no idea what I'm doing okay, go through that time Okay, so he just navigates his own way over. Yeah, all right. I'm so lost. What am I doing? I'm gonna use this speeder guy because he's the fastest. Can't go into the water, right? Nope, no water in this game. Okay, can't go this way. Did I lose? Like, is this is this the the part of the game where? I lost. Oh wait, no, I can go through here. There's an orb. Okay. <laughs> Got it. There's an orb over there, so just use the flying guy, I suppose. I wanna know what these guys do. I kinda wanna get killed though. I don't wanna start over. I'm pretty sure I have to go, huh? Yeah. Figured figured the barrier would block me from uh trying to just I'll just leave this guy over here. I'll fight it with the red guy. Oh yeah, I could press fire. I could fire. I forgot about that. The cartoon FX. I like it. What happened? I killed myself? I killed myself? How did I kill myself? I oh, this guy. Can this guy shoot fire? What is he doing? What the? I'm so lost. He doesn't attack me. I'm pretty sure I needed to. Can I? There's no options menu to restart or anything. Pretty sure I needed to kill him with the fire. But for some reason, I killed myself. So I can't fire anything. So the camera doesn't allow me to go further than this. So that's the bounds. It's yeah, I think I I think I needed to kill this guy with the fire guy, but I don't know why I died. That's so weird. Come on. Can I push you? Can I push him to my fire? Come on. Attack, attack, attack. It looks like he's attacking him. Can this guy do anything? Come back and help out, maybe. Oh, look, I killed him. Great. Okay, I killed him. How do I get into this orb? Is there another boss? I'm stuck. What's going on? Can I go down? Come on. Yeah, I can't move. There it is. What the? Oh, you can scroll your wheel to select different dragons. I forgot about that. I was like, what's going on? All right. I think I can't get into this orb. Yeah, I got no idea how to. The only thing I can think of is because my, uh, my red dragon died, it won't let me get the orb. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm just gonna reload it. I wanna see if that's the reason why. We finished the stage. Now that I know everything though, it's uh, pretty, I think pretty straightforward. Took this guy out of the way. Can I just hold down the mouse button and walk? Yep. Oh, I can't. I need the flyer. I feel like the flying dragon gets overused a lot in, in, in here because the, there's a lot of water just stopping like the the main i think the main objective i mean not the main objective the main obstacle it seems to all be water so I, like i don't know if there's supposed to be a way for me to get the other two over here but it's just easier to get the dragon one right i mean the um that one right and then for, for this one because the orbs keep moving you want to select the fastest dragon to catch that orb right so that i think that's what the that's the whole point of it but then look i can i just stay here and wait for it to, to spawn on top of me if, if these are set um, spawn points then should you yeah, see so f fairly easy right just uh just wait for it to spawn like if it was random then you know that's a different story but 
because uh, everything was um, it's like set specific spots. Just wait for it to come to you. You don't need to try. Then here's this one again. F, what I die. All right, cool. Now let me try to shoot this guy straight up. Oh my god, I died again. Boom, baby. I don't know. I don't know what I need to do. I think I need the freaking. I need, I need the fire guy to stay alive. Let's refresh that again. Try it one more time. Try this again. All right, get the flyer. Let's get the flyer. I think I think the the developers or the the, the team forgot to put the music on loop because I think I think it stopped later on. <laughs> Shoot, my game in my game I, I forgot to put I forgot to turn the music back on when I develop when I was developing I turned it off so it wouldn't be super annoying. And then I forgot to turn it back on. I can go there, there, and then back over here. I think. Let me wait for it right here. Shoot, right here somewhere. There it is. Again, just use the fast guy so you don't have to wait for that any, for anything. So use the fastest dude. I don't know if that's how this game is supposed to be played. This stage, I think I feel like this stage is supposed to go through that maze, but I just took a shortcut. Put that here, put this guy here, and the fire guy. Let's shoot from afar so you don't die. Oh my god, don't die. Please don't die again. Alright, he died. Can I shoot this across? Seems like it may, might be. That might be it. Let's go here, position myself better. Shoot this straight across. Yes, there we go. Maybe not make him able to die if uh, it's required, because um, unless it's, it's explicitly says so. But yeah, I figured that that was how it was supposed to be played. But yeah, so yeah, there it is. You don't have to stop it. I'm just gonna refresh it. And that was uh, what's the game called? I don't know what it's called. I don't even think it has a title. It does have a title for sure. It has a title. Terence, the Dragon and Pals by Unlocked. So yeah, that was that was that. Besides of the stuff that I said, it's not. It's just pretty, pretty straightforward game. You know, it didn't need that many instructions because I, you read it, you get to the orb. I, I, at first, I thought I needed to uh, use specific dragons for specific orbs, but um, like the coloring. But I don't think the color did anything. So I think maybe a little iteration and the next iteration would be just change the orb to a specific dragon color so that dragon has to has to go get it. So like for example this stage here is red, right? This orb is red. You have to find a way over here from one of these dragons in order to unlock a path for the red dragon to go across, you know? It might, it might make it a little uh, more complex. And uh, I mean that might be what the developers were thinking but um, not enough time allowed that. So. Yeah, there's that one. Uh, yeah, I'm not, how do you rate these, dude? Alright, let's go to the next one. This is rigged. 33 from 37, for real. Alright, whatever. 37, 36, 5, 4, 3. Craze Maze. Let's, uh... How do I play? Over here? Oh, nope, that ain't it. Alright, let's get it. Craze Maze. AD rotate the board. Main player ball can jump only. Switching characters E. I feel like a lot of people are doing the switching characters thing for the differences, huh? Keeps priors to freeze itself. Switch to the ball. Two balls to gain jump power again. Main objective reach the exit. Beware. Some moving walls can damage the player. AD EQ. AD EQ. Alright. Where am I? Where am I? I have no idea. Oh, the ball's right here, dude. Where am I supposed to go? Over here? Is that it? Oh, wait. I think I'm supposed to go over there. No. Wait, what the? Where'd I go? Where am I? Where's the cube at? I'm trying to switch to the cube and the ball. Where is it? Can I jump? Alright. Where am I? Did I lose? The music really adds to game sound. Like now I realize that my uh, my game with that music is kind of. Uh, I think I just bugged it out by sending it out here, so I'm trying to go ahead and launch the game. 
walk and jump, Q, freeze. Okay. My ball's there, so do not go back out there. I jump. Space bar. Push the direction by jump. Oh, I jump straight up or something? Where's the gra wait, wait, where's the gravity going towards? I feel like it's going down. How come I flew off again? Why do I keep flying off? What is this? <laughs> yeah, it's freaking hard. What's going on? All right. If I jump, I think I feel like it goes straight up or something. All right, so I move this way. This way. I'm just gonna try to go through this exit. It feels like, it feels like I'm. I wonder how they're doing this. Is this if, if this is physics and gravity's going down this way? When you rotate the board, huh? are you rotating the, the gravity as well? I feel I feel like yeah, I think that's that's what they're doing. So the gra gravity is like normally is this way, right? That's where it started. The gravity's pulling us down this way, so it'd be negative uh, negative nine point eight in the y axis, right? And then wait, wait, no, can't be can't, yeah the, in the y axis because this would be x y and the y axis here. When I rotate it this way, it slowly transitions the gravity to go to the positive positive direction so it wouldn't be negative negative actually this way so then now it's uh they rotate the gravity okay yeah i think that's how it is what's the cube do what's the point of freezing i don't i, I i'm not understanding what the point of the freezing of the cube is i mean i'm pretty sure there's a point but i just, I just don't know what it is let's see i'll go this way up here and then go straight into here right Oh, you could die. Okay. Hey, look, they just brought me over. I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but I just got brought over. Oh, I won. Okay. I won an accident. I mean, I don't know how I won. I don't know how it worked, but I think it was the, it's, this game is based on the rotation of gravity, and I also didn't know what the cube was for. So, um, yeah, maybe make that a little more obvious. The only thing I can think of. Let's uh, go to the next game, I guess. Um, 61. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the 60. 61 would be this guy. Legala. Legaya? Lega Le Legaya. Labyrinth. Alright. Oh, wait, no. Is it download, I guess? How do I get to the actual page instead of the. Um, oh, this one here. Okay. Game page. It's a good learning experience overall. All right, what's uh? Let's download. I feel like downloading is a lot better because uh, you can actually play without you know the limitations of uh. The the web browser. So I mean, before I would be turned off by uh downloading a game, but you know, since being a jammer, a game jammer, I know I realize that it's a uh, it's a much better experience just downloading because. I don't know. I don't know why it is. Maybe it's something to do with the way the website hosts it. it, it I'm not of memory or something. I don't, I don't freaking know. I have no idea. Whoever knows, let me know. But I don't. But yeah, here we go. The guy a labyrinth. Cool, cool. It uh does start full screen. I, I, I like that. I like that about um. I like that when it does start full screen, then you have the option. A lot of games they just force you into full screen, and people might not know how to do it to make it on full screen. So it's, yeah, it's just that. They got, they really got a save system. You guys really put in a save system, man. You guys are crazy. All right, cool, cool. All right. I see. What is this? Explore credits. Got sounds from here. Move it out. Battle ancient. I don't, I don't know. Oh, these are, are these the sounds? And there's two. Um, one person that did the music. I, I, I think that's what, what it is. Labyrinth starts to appear, this is rather dangerous. Um, for most people to experience some mages, I have started to use mirages to get treasures within expeditions like this are usually done in groups since it's usually better to have multiple people with different strengths on hand. Every everybody's doing this. It's always like a, a different strength of a of a character. That's crazy. 
You can edit your mirage by clicking the button next to the name and drop each mirage. These affect their stats as well as their field action. Uh, well, just the job at least. The heads are the heads are just there to look nice. Warrior all rounder healers heals characters with low HP. Wizard attacks all opponents. Rogue, uh, I think they meant rogue. But this is Rouge. Low attack, but can't open chest. So he open chest. He attacks all. A Wizard A we heals. Warriors are all around the roll. Attacks. Uh, low attack, but open chest. Okay. On each of this, you go to, on to get monster essence from defeating enemies' chest. You come across these in a series of random events. Try not to let your party get whacked. If you do, you'll lose half the essence you collect and get sent back from here. Battles in the labyrinth are done using the ATB system. <laughs> what is that? What is the ATB system? So you don't have to do much except heal them when the, they get too low on HP or revive them if they get KO. What is, what is ATB? What's that, what does that mean? Uh, auto time battle? Auto touch battle? I don't know. Auto something battle. battle. Any essence you collect can be used to level up your mirages and allow them to explore the labyrinth better. Note that leveling up randomly closes, chooses stats to increase to you may not get any stat increases at all. Leveling up random. Oh, if you choose to. I think what they want to say is if you uh, randomly choose a stat to increase, it might not increase it at all. All right. Cool. How do you custom? Oh, you can customize how they look. All right, all right. I feel it. I feel it. You got the human, the cobalt, the fey, the human, the cobalt, and the fey. Okay, it's only three. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know if there's. Uh, I think it's just for looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, keep one of each like that. Wizard healer and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the rogue so I can open some more stuff. All right. Do I level them up or what? How, how does it work? Do I level them up? Did, did it work? What's going on? What's this? I guess it doesn't work, right? So, oh yeah, cause I need to start a new game. Wait, what? Continue game? What am I continuing? Oh, here, explore. Oh, okay. Ah oh, man, where's my customized ones? I got three warriors, and then it just. It, it auto battles. That's what it means. Like auto, auto time battle. Auto time battle. Wait, can I? Can I? Can I? Oh crap! Oh man! That's not good. So I'm just sit here and wait for them to uh, to battle. I wish I could. Can I push the game and quit to reform my team? Let's see how. Do how is their attack system working? It's uh, uh, it seems like it's random because I mean, but the alpha is taking the most damage. This guy here, I think. Wait, or is this, uh, this guy? I don't know which one's alpha. I, I, I can't tell. I, I, I assume it would be this, this, and this. But you know, you know. Should I heal him? Because if I don't heal him, if he dies in the next fight, then I lose a guy. I guess I'm sure. to my rogue. Yep. Then I definitely need a healer. You always need a healer. And then instead of the war, you want the wizard, right? Cause hey, we why not? Essence, boom. How much essence do I need to level them up? I think I want to get the wizard max. Oh, okay. I didn't look. Maybe 150 per level or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Wait, what? What? Essence zero? Maybe, maybe I uh, have a counter for my total essence? I don't know. Got a chest. Yeah, I got some monsters. That's got a hundred. That's uh, almost a level, I believe. Can I? Th th there should be a way to. S I think skipping the timer would be a good addition because when I'm done with everything, I don't really want to wait for the, the, the timer to kind of look 10 seconds of doing nothing. Look, I, I don't need. I don't need to, uh, you know, wait for it. 
Dang, that guy gave me 77 essence. That's a lot. There's just one dude. What is I think this is the time they attack, I think. When I mean, I, I always, I always enjoy when people um, make like an RPG type of game because that's the type of game that I, I want to make too. That with like progression, progression and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this developer is clearly, uh, or this game maker, I don't know, I don't know what the jammer. It's called jammer. The jammer is clearly going for like a a progression type system, and uh, it's uh, it's very uh, what's, that, what's the word um, ambitious. I don't even know if ambitious is the right word. Who knows? Um, Whoa, that took 300? How about this guy? 100. So level 1 is 100. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that level 2 would be 200, right? So let's, uh, let's find that out. So, am I just, do I just keep exploring the same dungeon over and over again? Like this? Uh, is, is, does it unlock anything beyond the beyond this point at all? I'm not sure. Let's give it one more to go because as far as I'm concerned here, it's um, the revive always come back and at this point, my characters are too strong to even die. Right? Like, I'm just gonna wait for the time to tick down. And... Uh, yeah, it's just kill them. They don't all go away. They, they don't die until all of them dies. I think that's how it is. Because when the HP goes down, he's still there. I mean, I, I, I like the auto battle um, aspect to it because it's, it's like an idle game. And it removes any kind of like uh, control away from the players. And uh, it, it makes developing super easy. I, I'll tell you. It's not super easy. It's a lot easier. For sure, because you don't have to deal with the, like the character controller. You can just build build um AI and your own, your character is using AI and the enemies are using AI. So then it's, uh, it makes it faster to develop. So I mean, every review that I'm doing here, I mean, not review. Everything that I'm doing is uh it's gonna be based on a, a developing developer's perspective because that's that's what I am. So as far as art goes, I mean, hey, I can't do beast. I can't do it. So, so art looks good to me. But uh, yeah, let's see, level level two, right? So it's gonna be two hundred. So, yep. And then uh, level four, hey, I'm gonna assume it's four hundred. So yes. So linear curve for the level. I don't know how if the stats are linear as well, but um, let's see. Oh, yeah. but as far as that goes, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's any more stages. So. My character is just murdering these guys. I'm not sure if there's anything else to it, but yeah, the the, the creator did say something about um. What did they say? They said uh, they said solo game, solo jam project. Yeah, a bit rough around the edges, but a good learning experience. Yeah, for sure. Like game jam, man. That's what they're meant to be learning experience. But uh, yeah, it's a good start for a game. I uh, I think that's uh all there is to the game so far i'm not sure if there is more if there, if there is then my uh, i couldn't find it my bad but uh for, for sure keep working on that it's uh, it's gonna be great once you add in like animation and stuff it's gonna be awesome let's go 33 again well since it's 33 again should i pick my own maybe yeah, I think I'll pick, if it, if, it, if it lands on mine or if it lands on something it already rolled, I'm going to go ahead and pick one, all right? So, I wanted to play this game because um, this was the first, th this um, person, is he uh, he or she, I'm not, I'm not sure what, um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a group, I, was, I just gotta say they, they, uh, they rated my game and they left, the, the person let leave a comment, so, um, I mean, you know, I feel like I want, I want to play the game and also and also it looks awesome from this this uh the artwork looks cool i, I like a like a low poly art that's my my, my type of uh, artwork that i like so uh foster a symbiotic 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 relationship between nemo <laughs> stole the name and everything clownfishes and sea anemone as the clownfish fend off the parasites big fish and seaweeds from overtaking and eating the sea anemone the sea anemone 
provides shelter and attacks bigger fish and toxin. Okay, helps help the two creatures upgrade. Okay, so this is not a switching character. So this is um, they're vastly different in the two characters, right? So one's a sea anemone, which provides the home. One's a fish, which moves around. And I'm not sure what the fish does for anemone. I have no idea. But uh, but yeah, so they're uh, with copy clips. Here's our portfolio links. So their portfolios. I'll definitely be checking that out in in a bit. And uh, but before that, this is a five-person team, and uh, let's let's go. I can't really hit, listen to the audio because I mean I, I can turn it on for a little bit, and uh, and see and hear it. Let's let's find out what it sound like. Soothing music, soothing. Yeah, it sucks that I can't record and and uh, if I were to have headphones in. I think I could be able to hear it, but I don't have headphones on right now, so. All right, let's, uh, info. There was a lonely sea anemone. There was also a weary school of clownfish looking for shelter. The sea anemone wanted a friend that wasn't afraid of their toxins, and the clownfish wanted a warm, cozy home. Okay. The sea anemone and the clownfish both have their differences, but together they can be unstoppable. So right off the bat, you can see the, the theme. Straight up. Use WSD to move. Yep, typical. And then uh, press spacebar to eat the seaweed that are trying to overtake the sea anemone soil. The clownfish's poop will regenerate the sea anemone, so eat often. Is that how it works in real life? <laughs> Use E to hide the clownfishes in the sea anemone when predators come close. Lure the big fish close, but avoid sharks at all times. Okay. Seems like a pretty fun game already. Wait, no. I wanted to click that button. I don't know why. Why? why, why? I don't know why. I wanted to click that to play, but this is the play. Credits. Program. Two programmers, an environmental artist, design artist, and a UI artist. Nice. Wish I had you guys, team. Okay. Up. Down. What is this? Oh, this is where this is the controller for the um the fishes, right? I forgot what I was supposed to eat. Something. Eat. Eat these seaweeds. Eat it, man. Eat. It. Oh, man. am I dying? Go hide. Why was I dying? Why, why, why am I dying? Where's my fishes? Am I? Oh man, how, how do I? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I play again? I, I can't play again, or what? What's going on? Okay, I'll refresh it. No, I'm dead. I, I did not get satisfied with that. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Double said to eat the seaweed. How do I eat it though? Like, do I need to move my ball onto there? Uh, and then eat hot. So, when the predators come, I gotta hide. So, that is my HP there. So, I gotta go down here and eat these. Yeah, see? So, I believe. Yeah, the ball. So, the ball is the controller of what you need. It's not the. Is that a predator? Yo, yo, yo. Back up. I'll eat you, boy. Eat that guy real quick. Eat this real quick. Yo, 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 back up. See, go over here. I gotta, oh, man. Dude, that, that, that thing, that shark came so fast. Do I hide? Yeah, hide, and then I come back out. Eat again. What's stopping me from just hiding the entire time? Like, see, I just hide, right? I, they can't, the shark's going to 15. He can't eat me, can he? Oh no, oh crap, I gotta eat. Oh, you gotta spam the button. Where's the shark at? Heal coral. Ooh, whoa. Can I zoom out? That's a big, he got big. I'll hide. Oh, shark warning, okay, this is shark warning, all right. Oh man, so, okay, so if you're out and the shark's coming, it will kill you. It will come down to you. I saw that. I saw the programming for that. Try to be sneaky, eh? Okay, come out. Eat these seaweeds. Alright. Sharks coming. Hide. Right. You watch. If I if I don't see, it. if it didn't hide, the sharks come right for you. If I do hide, it'll be up there. Watch. I'll I'll, um, I'll hide the next time the shark comes, and it'll come on top. There's a pause button. What was that? Oh, it lets you exit full screen. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what these are. Where's, where's my poops at? Am I supposed to see my poops to grow the... Alright, hide. 
hide. Can you hide, yo. Whoa, this thing's huge. Can't see the seaweed anymore. Do I eat this fish or what? Am I supposed to go exploring though? No, I don't think so, right? The shark didn't do anything to me. How do you how do you win and how do you lose? I mean, I lose if I if I don't eat the seaweeds, I suppose. Am I supposed to go in and hide? Like, what's going on? Why, why is my uh? Oh, what the? Hide, hide. Yeah, see, you hide and the shark just dips at. He just dips. <laughs> Oh, what? That's it? Man, that's a... Uh, I mean, it's, I feel like that's a, a good base for a game. It's uh, it's pretty... It's The the, the good part is... Um, <clears throat> the addicting part, I think, to me, is uh, seeing the anemone grow. I, w I want to see how, how, how far it got. But, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't sure how to win or how to lose, so I just kept just doing the same thing. Usually that's, that's, that's a game loop, right? You do the same thing over and over again until uh, you either beat the game or lose the game. So uh, yeah, I mean, overall it's a pretty pretty good game. <clears throat> it's the the graphics were nice. I, I like the uh, the graphics on on this one. <clears throat> I'm assuming you guys uh, did your own graphics instead of um, taking one off the store or something. So uh, <clears throat> yep, that's a uh, anemone. I think let's do one more to make a make it five for this video. This video is probably quite long right now. I don't know how long it's been. But let's go one more. 40. Does this thing never go into like the ones digits? It seems like it's never going down. Okay, so it, it does. Alright, so 40. 1, one two, three, four. 40 would be Magneta. I see. I already seen this one on stream. So, I think I'll do this one really quick and then I'll, uh, I'll do one more after this one. Cause even I want to see other ones as well. Like it's uh, it's crazy. But uh, let's uh, yeah, let's let's go. From Unreal. I always wanted to get into Unreal, but not sure if uh, I want to learn. I want to spend the time enough to learn it because I already spent so much on Unity. Which the game there is. Using WASD, arrow keys move around with AD. Swap manning is polarity with S. With S. Charge attacks with W. Done. Oh, oh. that's why the, the, the streamers today couldn't beat it. Because they didn't read this. You need to charge your attacks with W. I mean, I don't have the ball yet to attack. So, yeah. Alright. Get me up, baby. Beat me up, Scotty. The, the thing I saw that was kind of weird with the, this game is that the, 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 the streamer said it was um you don't what is it you don't get attracted to to this right did I ever, did I just get killed what is this what the okay I don't need to do anything look 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 <laughs> I can just spam space bar and jump Infinitely. <laughs> the developer, I think they're missing a ground detection to prevent the jump. Look. <laughs> I can't die now. Oh, man. What's going on? Why is he blue? Why is he blue? I don't think this balls are going to attack. Okay. Boom, baby. I'm gonna see. He's red, right? So I attack with, attack with red. I believe I attack with blue, right? Boom. Give me this ball. Yeah, I attack with blue. Blue. I can't even get close to hit him. Oh, I wish there. Were, oh, there's a meter to charge. Oh, there we go. The meter down here to charge up my attacks. Gotcha. Fully charged, baby. Wow, man, that does a lot of damage. 
Okay, so now I don't need to fully charge anyone to hit him. Boom, boss defeated. Okay. I mean, besides <laughs> quick game, it's uh, definitely really fast. I think down here, bottom left, bottom left is my uh, HP. I don't think I got hit at all. Let's go ahead and just go get hit really fast. I believe that's uh, that's what'll hit me. So, yeah, shoot me. Boom. Yep. See, three hits to die. So I would have time. I would have time to just you know do this. Oh wow. Okay. Maybe I didn't. But yeah. Beat it in a couple minutes. Uh, I'm pretty sure it took a long time to. To uh, develop this, <laughs> but now that the base is done, you know, design more stages uh, and maybe explain a little more um, what the balls are. Let me see. Pick up the ball. What? I come. Okay. So he's. Let's see. He's. He's red. If I hit him with red, what happens? Let's find out. So he shoots about two tiles away. So I can just stand here and be fine. So I shoot him in red, okay. He gets, he gets hit a lot. Let's, uh, let's take a switch red so I can pick up this blue ball. Red, so let's see. I hit him in blue now, I guess. I think I already hit him, right? Boom. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure how, how, how it, it works. But, uh, yeah, the coloring, I don't know how it works, but I, it did, did a lot of damage no matter what. Alright, can't switch to non force screen, so I'll just close that out. And let's just do one more since that was already shown. Quit. Refresh. One more. 67. Was already picked. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Packed. I don't know if this was streamed. I, I didn't catch it, so let's uh let's get it. Now let's go to the page. Retro style survival shooter. Man, this looks awesome already. Holy. WSD, mouse movement, spacebar jump, left mouse to shoot, middle mouse button to dash, right button to toss a bomb, pause and escape. Okay, pretty straightforward. Wait, variation is the key to survival. As each of your abilities have less power, become less powerful the more it is used, whilst your other regain their power. Okay, so like a, so the difference is is that the uh, amount of time you use your ability. So that's what the the people are going for to, in this one. All right, uh, let's go. All right, what just hit me? What what just hit me? What is going on? Oh man, sensitivity. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Destroy balls, nice. I like it. How do how do I switch guns again? I forgot. Space bar to jump. Middle mouse button to dash. Oh okay, that's the dash, and then okay. That's all I got. All right, I got it. I got you. I got you guys. All right, what am I surviving from? That's the key thing. Like, what is hitting me? Oh, man, what are these? Skulls? Maybe. One problem I, I already see is that I'm always going backwards to shoot them. One of the big issues here is that I believe wait, I just saw a shadow. Alright, where is he? Where's my gold? Oh man! Why is my gun not charging up? Do I need a, Oh, you need to use other skills to charge your. So I gotta start dashing to charge my gun, or else I'm gonna be using it anymore. Okay, okay, I, I see you. And then I charge up, and then I charge up the, I charge up the, um, the, the dash by gunning. I can, I can actually see this game, like, in a different game jam with, like, uh, if there was limitations on, um, how much bullets, or, or I guess, 
So that would work as well. Oh man, they didn't die from that? That's crazy. Get out of here, boy. Okay. I think there's... There's 30 left? 30 zombies left? Is that what it is? Or is how much I kill? How, I, I haven't noticed if it went up or down. But let's go find out. Can't dash anymore because I'm almost out, so... He hits me, he goes away. Oh man. The count is going up, so I think when I kill them, he gives me points. Oh man, that oh. yeah. I wish they had HP bars so I know how much HP they have left. So, you know. So, I don't wanna. I, if they have like one HP left, I'm not gonna grenade them. So, that, that'd be something that uh, I'd be interested in. Dash. Oh! Is this game beatable? Or is it just about surviving to uh, to get the high score, I wonder. But I don't see a score system, so I'm not sure that's what it is. I like these AOE. AOE's easier than shooting. Aim is really tough, but sensitivity is crazy. Oh, I can just change my mouse sensitivity, I'm crazy. Get out of here with that. Oh man, back into the corner. Yeah, see, the, the problem the problem with going backwards all the time is that uh, <laughs> you can't really see backwards, right? So, I wish, I don't know, maybe, I, I wish they were on the floor, maybe, instead of just flying out. Or maybe there needs to be uh, floor zombies and then uh, flying ones, too. So that way, um, I could walk forward into them instead of uh, running away from them all the time. I gotta find the spawn point. There has to be a spawn point somewhere. There has to be a spawn point. It, it seems like it's originated from this tower somewhere. They always seem to come, come from the top. Where is it? Where's your spawn point? Here? Here? Right there, see? I knew it. It's coming from here. No. It's just spawn point. Right, what? How, how'd you guys... I wonder how um, the developers did the... Um, the what is it? What am I saying? The, the AI pathing with um with no floor. Cause I know that if you were to use like a the nav mesh, right? It um it walks they walk on the floor, and so there there has to be a way to walk on the floor. But if you're gonna do it in the air, how do you select the points? I think um I believe they go through walls, right? Like like for sure they have to go through the walls to to come at me. Watch, let's find out. Yeah, see, they, they, they go through walls because there's no nav mesh. It's just pretty much, here's the player's position. Chase them. That's what these skulls are doing. And I think I think this game you just play until you die. It's a survival game. You just play until you die. I don't see an end in sight at all. I don't see a goal that I need to, to finish. So, uh, yeah, there's there's that. So let's just uh, pull ourselves here and just get with it. Ooh, baby. Yeah, that, that seems to be it. That seems to be it. So, yeah, that's a uh, packed a retro shooter. I definitely see that. And, uh, yeah, the variation is key to survival. And I, I, I did I did that. I wish, um, I think, keying stuff differently, like the, the dash. I, I would rather it be a key instead of the middle mouse button. But, uh, you know, that's, that's just me. Everyone's different. Anyway, this uh, yeah, that's uh, I reviewed. Um, I played five games, six games, um, all great games. It's, it's definitely a jam game. Is you know the vertical slice of a game, and these are pretty like the, the amount of um, work that people put in to finish these are crazy to me.